Sunday run day. And I can see the tops of the mountains, that's a good sign. This time last week, <clears throat> I was just coming off the mountain. Taking my running pack with me, my fast pack, 30 litres. Waterproofs, first aid kit, my blanket, some calories. I don't think I'm going to need them. I don't think I'm going to be up there long enough. Uh, I'm going to take my fleece layer though because it weighs nothing. Water, waterproof. So I'm not really carrying a lot of weight. Um, I will put on my windproof though until I'm moving. I'll take my gloves as well. That's the first half mile covered. And then we've covered it again. To be a shame. You know, see some juice from the top. It's a windy one. Made it to the quarry. That way. This is hard going. Just looking for. It's not the best to run on. Oh, that's not one. I don't think I'm far from the wall now. I'm going to start up that way. Oh, runnable bit. Oh, I'm glad I came back. See, I missed all of this view last week because of the mist. I'm actually walking along the warm wall, using it as a footpath. Looks a little bit harder going down there. I'm sure it's as you get a bit further up. It'll get a bit steeper and I'll probably have to jump down, but for now, for now this is probably the better option. And I thought it was windy last week. Let's get around this corner for a second. Last week with the rocks, that was a good idea. Right, back down. Starting to feel the cold, so I want to get down out of the mist, out of the wind, uh, and to somewhere where I can start running again. I think I've got a little pull in my calf, uh, which obviously isn't going to help things any. But as long as I'm careful and don't try and run on the bits that really aren't runnable. Should be okay. Yeah, definitely a pull on the right calf. That wind is bitter. Glad to be on this side of the wall for a bit. And then, if I can just get down a bit quicker than I came up. Safety of mine though. Back at the moor wall and down towards the car now. The temperature difference between here and up there is, is ridiculous. I was numb up there. Still, now it is back to the car. Uh, so, it took me an hour from the car to here on the way in. It's taken me an hour to get from here to the top and back. That's two hours. And now, back to the car. I enjoyed that. On the uh, descent now. It's quite weird because right now this looks flat to me and last week I thought this looks flat to me but this morning coming up this is actually quite a steep hill didn't help that the wind was in my face this morning so I was fighting against that as well whereas now 
it's up my back so downhill stretch window my back <laughs> homeward bound back where I started at the car park So from here, Bloody Bridge Car Park, to the top of Sleeve Dunnard and back. Two hours 40, distance of six and a half miles. Climbing, I think, about 1,800 feet, something like that. Oh, time to get some liquids in me.